yesterday. Old Miss, uh, Lane, this at Old Miss, and they got it done. Yep, thank you, Carl. We'll talk about that. LSU wetting the bed as well, and Georgia Tech upsetting Miami at home. But before we do, I got to grab, uh, grab Sabah on the phones here. Sabah, thanks for dialing us up. You're on the Infinity Sports Network. Put them up. Put them up. Thank you, Carl. What's going on? Well, first of all, I want to shout out to um, Kirk Herbstreit about his dog, Ben. Yeah. Well, I couldn't stop crying seeing that uh, pregame thing where he couldn't hardly speak because he uh, lost his best friend. So just want to save heartfelt, you know, dogs are our best friends. Absolutely. So I just want to give him a shout out. And uh, I want to talk about this, uh, my, my Washington Redskin team. Yes. I can't, I, I sit in a thing where, you know, the C word, that is like one of the least selling brands. So winning doesn't fix this. I just want to make sure the owners know. And because we may be quiet I'm going to speak on behalf of the majority. We want our identity back. There's no reason why the Chiefs can sit there on national TV and do the little tomahawk talks and all that kind of have the Native American imagery. And somehow my team's the poster board for just ignoring their heritage and who they are. I'll take, like, Natives, uh, uh, the uh, wet Warriors, the Americans, the Hogs, anything that is who I am. I want to make sure that we keep our identity we are not a commander. What the heck is that? That's nothing to do with us. I want our identity back, and it's, winning is not going to fix this. You know what I feel like, Carl? I feel like, you know, I used to be the star of the show on the team, on the basketball team, let's say, and now all of a sudden, you know, my team's starting to win or whatever, and I'm on the bench. Not even coming in the game. And now in the post game, everybody's hooting and hollering and cheering and showering up, and I don't even have any sweat on me. That's what I feel like. I'm not in the game right now. I want to be back all in when we're winning. And I'm afraid if we win, are they going to say, well, we can't change the name now because we won. That should not be the case. You can walk and chew gum at the same time. So please bring back our identity. Thank you, Carl. Good stuff. Um, anybody complaining about the Chiefs? I'm asking. For a friend. Anybody? I mean, I haven't heard it. Now, if it's happening and it's going on there, okay, well, somebody tell me then. Listen, I think this idea of us being super careful about everything that is either said or that has happened, first of all, we can't ignore history, nor should we. But number two, I also think, as many of you probably feel, I've said this, this whole cancel thing and have we gone too far one way or the other? Now, I'm not telling you they're going to bring the Redskins' name back. And, and by the way, Sabah is a longtime uh, Washington fan, which is why she says that on this show, if that offends some of you, because she grew up watching the Redskins, as many of us did. And at the, as, as a matter of fact, she's been saying this on this show, and I, I'm sure others that she listens to, for years now. And so this identity thing, I, I'm, I'm with her on this. Like, if it's not that, then give me something I can identify with that makes me feel like this is the team that either I grew up on or, more importantly, that I connect with. I have no issues with what she's saying, none whatsoever. Now, there is a new ownership group. We'll see if Josh and company feel like, hey, as we attempt to get a new stadium, because that's going to be the new thing, that's going to be the new news, where do we go with this? And how do we, how do we you know, maneuver this? Because the commanders thing, you know, was the Washington football team, and everybody's like, okay, that's fine. Now it's the commanders, and you're like, oh, that's fine. But people who grew up, and there are a ton of people, not just in the in the Washington, you know, area or, or the Maryland area, th- th- there is a tri-state area. There, there's a there's a ton of Redskin fans. Virginia, you go all the way down to the Carolinas. It's just it's what it was. We'll see what happens. So, Bob, appreciate your call. Let's get to Dave in Queens. Dave, thank you for your patience. You're on the Infinity Sports Network. Put them up. My pleasure. Put them up, Dukes. Man, you're the best. And, uh, that lady made a great point. And uh, I, I don't even think they let people bring Redskins gear in there to that stadium, which I, I don't know. I've heard that. I mean, that's that's insane. But they're the Redskins to me. But let me tell you, I'm, I'm